Ladies and gentle, gentle, gentlemen, my name is Ruffled Ruffled Rowlets, and today we have a video, guys. So, this is actually going to be a pretty fun video, guys. So, guess what? The guy who made the dragon bug leak, as so many people were calling it, came out and proved that it was fake. He came out and said, here's how I made it. And it makes me happy because I remember when I first made my first video on this subject, I did say... I'm, it's seemingly fake because the textures in the background don't look too similar. The lantern is too big, for, you know, compared to the other one, uh, you know, in the trailer and all that sort of stuff. And I talked about this, but then I made a secondary video because a bunch of people were a little bit, you know, uh, you know, upset with me not being, you know, positive about the, you know, the, the rumor um, that, you know, I was assuming it was fake, just going with the assumption it was fake rather than, you know, giving it a little bit of a benefit of the doubt. But I just went with the assumption that it was fake to begin with, um, you know, when I first saw it. The first video I made, that's how I, what my assumption was. But guess what? It's now got a confirmation. It is actually fake, and it, I think I kind of, like, call that from the beginning. It just, there was something off from the beginning when I saw this one, especially the animation itself, because it was just... A little bit odd, let's just put it that way, but hey, guess what, the guy came out, his name is Throw, wait, Throw Rock. Uh, Throw Rock came out and just basically tweeted out this out saying to a -Drive TK, Ruffle Rowlets, or Rick Before 20, he came me, uh, Hoodlum Scrafty, and Actual Arrow, and all the other Pokemon YouTubers who covered the bug slash dragon leak, thank you, it has been a pleasure to see all you cover it and share your opinions, it is time to draw the curtain. And he actually uploaded a video here, uh, which you guys can take a look at, I'm gonna, you know, pause this and I, you know, watch it on your own, I don't want you to sit here and be like, you know, let's watch me react to this, because this is his content, so do check it out, give him some love, because, uh, I mean, hey, the man literally put a lot of effort into this, I mean, let's be honest, in the short span of time he had, he really did good work, let's be honest, man, uh, so, here's what he, he, basically, like, he does a little bit of a write-up of how he did all this, you know, the 3D, and uh, 3D, the animation, the in-scene kind of like animation, all that. Uh, one day to complete it. Uh, no starters, no evolutions. Simple, different, and recognizable, which is what it ended up being. And you can see right here in the actual video, he goes through his design process, how he designed the actual Pokemon, or what way he decided to make it. Which is interesting that he went for, you know, of all things, I mean, the peanut bug thingy. Like, it's kind of strange, but you see right here, he actually shows how he made it. Um, pretty straightforward, and yeah, I think if we continue down this path, you can kind of see here how he created this, uh, you know, uh, scenario here, and he, of course, he does also show him making the lantern, and the lantern was something I called out early on when I was making my original video about this, I did say the lantern is just way bigger than the one you see in the trailer, and also, it just doesn't look the same, it looks different, uh, and again, also, the, uh, you know, the little stars, they were shining in a weird way, which the ones in the trailer weren't, um, a bunch of things, I mentioned a bunch of things, you know what I mean, and of course, you know, he shows here how he made it, uh, how he made the UI, just kind of, like, similar to, you know, the colors you've seen in the logo to the games, you know what I mean, um, and of course, he also used the Let's Go UI, which I mentioned in a different video. I said, there is something strange here, because that looks like the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee EUI, but maybe they're just reusing that. I don't know. It would be a bit strange, but, you know, again, I'm actually really happy that this got, finally got, you know, 100% confirmed, because otherwise we would be walking around for, you know, until official reveals, uh, you know, thinking this thing was either real or fake. But now at least we know it. Now it's been 100% confirmed, and at least now we are, you can, you know, we can be certain of what it is. Um, but hey, honestly, a little bit disappointed that it wasn't real because it would have been fun to actually have like you know a real pokemon get leaked this early on it would have been kind of fun but at the same time also it makes me happy because that means that clearly they're keeping a major lid on actual like proper major leaks are being kept there's being a lid kept on that which is interesting if you know <laughs> to to put it in in mild terms it's interesting it actually is really really intriguing so personally i have nothing no issue with this this is the deal with you know when it comes to rumors and you know leaks and whatnot uh it's all to be taken you know, in, well, how do you put this, but it's like, in, you know, a grain of salt, right, you gotta, you gotta take it, you know, with, with a pinch of salt, and always remember that, you know, it shouldn't be assumed real, instantly, you should give everything, you should take everything with the benefit of the doubt, you know what I mean, and, uh, you know, or not give, sorry, no, you shouldn't take everything, you know, just very, like, easily on and being, like, assuming it's real. Uh, it's all just 50-50 when it comes to these things. So I just wanted, you know, kind of share this with you guys and talk about it for a minute because I think it's interesting, man. I actually think it's really cool uh, how we went about this whole thing. And this also, by the way, um, if you see any rumors right now that show up, I'm going to actually go through because I have a list of rumors here. Like, I have literally so many that I want to cover. Uh, but I'm going to be literally looking through every single rumor right now. And any one of them that mentions the bug dragon thing, the mosquito thing, um, 
um, you know what I mean, is basically going to be confirmed fake but, but then, you know what I mean? So those I will literally just ignore, uh, but I'm, I'm going to be running through a bunch of these looking for any mentions of the bug dragon. You know, if they mention it being real, then we know it's fake because any rumor that says that right now is confirmed fake. Um, but there is one more rumor that I want to cover. I want There's one thing I want to cover in this video, though, which is a different rumor, but also the fact that this is now confirmed fake. So do check out uh, Throw Rock here. I'm going to link his, uh, you know, his video, I guess, uh, down below. Check it out. Um, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. And, you know, I mean, you can see kind of the general gist of it, but uh, do watch the whole thing if you want to. It's kind of interesting, if anything, because you get a bit of a better insight into how some of these things are made. Uh, though I'm not sure about the purpose behind most of these things. I mean, I guess it's just to fuck with people and just have fun, uh, which is reasonable. I mean, hey, it, you know, it keeps me going because it keeps me interested and kind of, you know, entertained, and most of you guys as well, entertained while we wait for actual information to drop once in a while. Which, by the way, actual info, if you're waiting for real life, you know, re real life, if you're waiting for real information, real news, I'm going to tell you right now, that's going to start dropping in about uh, late April. Uh, late April and throughout May. That's when you should expect actual news because usually they will never give you information, real information, uh, during March. March is like an open month with nothing happening. Uh, but April is when things start going a little bit forward. Uh, then May is when things start really, like, you know, it's picking up a pace. And, of course, once you get to June, there's just news every single, like, you know, all the time. Basically, there's news every single week. Um, so yeah, if you're, you know, ex excited for news, all that sort of stuff, I'm gonna tell you right now, wait until, like, late, late April for actual actual informations, trailers, and all that stuff. That's when that sort of stuff's gonna start dropping. Uh, don't expect anything to happen this month. I know there's been a bunch of rumors saying there's gonna be uh, trailers dropping, which have, hasn't happened, so do keep that in mind. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of mention that quickly, you know, quickly bring it up. But yeah, at least now we know about this one. Thought I'd just bring it up, kind of talk about it for a minute. I think it's cool, man. I, I, would not, I have no issue with it. I mean, literally, I've covered so many of these things in the past that I've, you know, kind of debunked, and then hey, the person comes out and says, well, guess what? It is fake. So, yeah. And this one was kind of uh, interesting, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, when I initially covered it, I thought it was fake. Uh, then I was asked to recover it and talk about this aspect of it that could make it real. So I did that, but I was still skeptical. And then, you know, eventually, boom, we got the answer here. So it is what it is. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now let's jump over to the actual rumor that I was going to cover for today's video, which is this one right here. So this one comes from a German lad. Now, I want to ask the German viewers here if you can translate this, uh, some aspect of this, because I don't want to, like, you know, sometimes these rumors, they'll add, like, stuff here. If it's in a different language, they'll add, like, little uh, jabs or little jokes, you know what I mean, as a way to, for us to know that it's fake. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll just see what this is all about. So he, this guy says he's got some tidbits to share. Let's get straight to the point. No, note, just going to write the German name slash dialogue lines and winky face, which gets, gets me to think this guy is BS, but who am I to say? Uh, then he says there's going to be two professors, one male focusing on offensive aspects of Pokemon fights, the other is female focusing on defensive aspects. Male name is Pokemon uh, Earl, 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 and a female is named uh, Has Hassel, Hassel, Hassel. Are those, I feel like those are two German comedians. I feel like those are two German comedians or something. No, I guess not. I guess not. No, I thought maybe those were like two like uh, German comedians because there's like a similar name for like uh, comedians and a different thing that I know of that like uh, kind, of, kind of like have a similar name. Um, the two legendaries to be wolves is heavily implied throughout some lines by NPCs throughout the game. Third legendary could be a dragon. One NPC line saying, uh, "Wo einin wait einigen thousand Jahren, which is I guess a thousand years, wo tete ein mertigo." Drache über diese Region um, in seinem seinem Sohn gefangen <laughs> brachte, brachte es unheil über Gala. Okay, um, two evil teams. I'm not sure what that actually says. Something about 1,000 years. Something about the region. Something something. I don't know. Um, we we'll continue on here, though, to two evil teams, uh, Team Lupus and Team Volpus. Volpus. I'm really happy about uh, this returning, as I like the, the feature, this feature in Ruby and Sapphire. Two, you know, two teams, it would be cool. Uh, each team aims to revive slash awaken their legendary, as those are, uh, I guess, sleeping or something. Uh, now, if they are to be revived or woken up, uh, as Alliance could be referred to, uh, to could refer to both things in German, uh, wir werden in aus seinem wegen Schlummer um im Abgrund Zurückholen, damit, wait, damit er uns den Weg zum Ziel weisen kann? I don't know what that even means, but, I mean, hey, if there's a joke in here, or, like, somebody saying something offensive, I'm sorry, I'm just reading what it says right here, I don't know German. Um, rival trainer lives, uh, lives indeed in the bigger house nearby and is a rich boy. Uh, I wouldn't call him a jerk rival, but his lines clearly show he won't be the nicest either, as he subtly mocks you at your first meeting, okay. Here's some of the lines for you. 
And I'm not going to read this whole thing because it's pretty long, but if you want to, like, you know, read through this, if you know German, you can probably read through this and say what it says. Uh, and they says, that's all for now. Localization started not long ago. I only added German lines to give you guys some fun trans uh, while translating. Look out for German tidbits in the future. So, yeah, if you're German and you want to kind of, like, break this down and give me a little bit of an insight into what you guys think about this, then please do so, as it would make my life a lot easier. So, please do do that. Uh, but, yeah. Also, again, um, I just want to, you know, kind of bring it up. Uh, these rumors, guys, do please understand. You know, a lot of people have been saying to me, like, oh, dude, you know... You shouldn't maybe talk about rumors or blah, 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 this and that. Uh, I enjoy talking about rumors. It's it's kind of fun because it keeps me, like, busy and keeps me, like, you know, doing something on a daily basis. And also, it's kind of as a way to keep you guys, you know, just updated and just kind of, like, excited for what's to come in terms of Pokemon. Um, as I personally am excited for, you know, what's to come with Sword and Shield. So this is just a way to hype us up while we wait for actual information, which will start coming soon. I'm telling you right now, this isn't, you know, no rumor-related thing. This is just pure facts. We're gonna start seeing news and information in towards April. That's when you should be waiting for actual hard proof confirmed information, not leaks, not rumors, news. Hardcore prof, uh, you know, hardcore, damn, proof? Damn. Hardcore real, like, you know, uh, confirmed news, you know what I mean? Nothing uh, strange or sketchy about it, no 4chan stuff. Like, actual news will start dropping in April, May, and June. That's when they will start kind of, like, rolling the, you know, the, the kind of the machines will start rolling. The factory will start working around that time. So, if you want actual information, wait until then, guys. For now, you will just have to, you know, just sit here, chill. If you want to watch my videos, you can keep watching them if you want to. Uh, I know recently some people haven't been as interested, which I understand, which is okay. But yeah, so just keep, you know, if you want to keep watching, keep watching. Of course, we'll cover the actual information when it starts dropping. And I'll also keep, you know, covering all the rumors, uh, you know, theories, speculations, leaks, if there actually are any leaks. You know, I'll keep covering all that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, though. If you did enjoy the video, then drop a like down below. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a great day, and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.